It's Presenter Search on 3, proudly brought to you by Capitec and Mac Cafe. It's How Ding's Time to Shine. With the biggest turnout yet, we've split the Joburg auditions over two shows. Today's edition is dedicated to the best and worst of the first round of judging. The hustle is on in Johannesburg. Thousands of hopefuls snaking around Wanderers Stadium, hoping for their one opportunity to step into the limelight. Welcome to Present Search on 3. The big city of Johannesburg drawing the biggest crowd in the country. And we're expecting the biggest television personalities. Isn't that right? There are three sets of first round judges, including my top billing dream winner, Jonathan Voynton Lee, Metro FM and former live amp presenter, Lerato Kanyaho, and Bonnie Mbuli from Afternoon Express. I'm looking for somebody who can be a strong interviewer on the show, somebody who can help carry the conversation. Because, I mean, interviews are quite volatile. Sometimes you're interviewing somebody who doesn't give you much, and you need somebody who can think out of the box, you need somebody who can think on their feet, and just a great communicator. It would be nice to have someone who's going to have a conversation with the camera, even though they're presenting, but it mustn't look too or sound too rehearsed. Someone who's very, very natural. So I'm looking for something I like to call the Simba Factor. It's not the X Factor, it's a lot more than that. It's someone who's going to walk into the room and immediately you know they just belong on TV. Like they're just born to do it, they're natural. From the moment Simba started speaking in his first audition, you just knew he had the job. So that's what I'm looking for. Bit much to ask maybe, but uh, that's what I'll be looking out for. Joburg has doubled up on passion, energy and talent. But two sisters hope that doubling up on their audition might secure them a callback. Hello, look at the Daddy. two of you. Double wow. Trouble, double, double trouble. Double the fun sometimes. See, the fun sometimes. I take it you're going to do the whole thing together, right? Yes. Okay. You got to speak at the same <laughs> right. time. This is a this mind is warp so for me. so cute. It's amazing. Okay, cool. You know they say twins are one and the same person. But we certainly do not conform. We have the bold creative one and the strong attentive one. Zakane Nantzako, Ivan Wakamashaul, who are 23 years old, full-time students, entrepreneurs, and radio from Pro Chetlin. And after all, everything is better in twos. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. They're so, cute. so cute. They're like one person. <laughs> Hi. No, not you. You? You. My name is Limo. Well, my full name is Humlimo Ramba, but I personally go by Limo. Gosh, why am I so awkward? <sighs> okay, my name is Limo, and this is Presenter Search on 3. So what are you waiting on? Come, join us. You know you want to. <laughs> Hi, Tochi. Hi. Yo, those are kanda kandas. You love them. How do you walk in <laughs> Girl, them? listen, I will twirl in them. Yes, wow, girl. girl. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes. Twirl, girl. Yes. A woman who cuts her hair is about to change her life. Coco Chanel must have had me in mind when she made this iconic statement. Hi, my name is Tlutlejo, and I'm about to change my life. <laughs> nice. Snatch, are we? Yeah. Oh, so much better. <laughs> now, fashion is the passion, honey, as you can see. But I'm not just a trendy guy in high heeled shoes, you know. I'm also an aspiring actor, model, designer, stylist, choreographer, and of course, presenter. And just know that I'm here to stay, I'm here to slay, and I'm here to entertain you guys all day. San Bernane Makai, Kamala Mukila, and Bugula, your favorite breakfast show, Morning Express. I'm planning to get a young into training from your Facebook, Twitter, and your Instagram. Maraning and Yagazi, because after the break, we'll be talking to the one and only. David Tlali about the latest fashion trends. Yeah. Sure. I was like, shoo! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Team trade. Gonzalez. How's it, Beto? I'm fine. How's it I'm going? I'm great, thank you. All right, stay right there in the cross. Okay. Hello, everyone. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Lerato Marukwana. I reside in Puri Soweto. I'm 23 years old. I'm passionate and pessimistic and quite shy, but whenever I'm given the task, I make sure that I finish the task. Where are you looking? You were supposed you... to look at that camera, Mama. That says your camera. This but one. Okay. You didn't even give me a chance to say. 
Tropica Island of Treasure Maldives contestants Nondu Mavizela, a student and rising fitness star, and Mark Anthony Bingham, a talented salsa dancer, are hoping to continue their lives in the limelight. I know it's green, I know it's sunny, but we're not on an island. These two, back for more <laughs> reality TV shows. You must love it. Yes, of course. I mean, why not bring Team Thick to present Search on 3? Girl, so, I mean. so what are you bringing that's different this time, Mark? Um, I'm bringing a whole lot of flavor. So I'm going to bring the island to South Africa, so yeah. What is it? Good luck, you guys. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank thank you, you so Enjoy. much, Fabi. Awesome. Thank you. So many have said that the sky is the limit. But to me, that's just the beginning. I am full of life. I am fabulous. And yes, Mama has spoken. The signal is here. I'm here. Expresso, are you ready for me? Hashtag Expresso Show. Mama gave you a signal, honey. <laughs> honey, honey, I'm here. <laughs> the signal, yeah. Good morning and welcome to your feel-good breakfast show. Now, if you're like me and you're a little overwhelmed by the temperatures dropping faster than Barcelona out of the Champions League, then this is the perfect place to be because we're going to heat things up with sport, entertainment, fashion, and food. Nice. I love it. Mm. You've made me so happy. Yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> the time is exactly 6.30 a.m. <laughs> Thank you. The time is exactly 6.30 a.m. And you know what that means? The break best breakfast show in the land, Espresso. I'm your girl, Mileti the star, the chocolate queen, chocolate oozing. So if you're smart and you know what's good for you, you're going to stay tuned. It's the breakfast show, baby. Wow. I love it. Okay. Yo, I just resigned from live am. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hint, hint. Okay. Hint, hint. <laughs> I love it. Bye, you better be here with my money, Byron. You ain't nothing but a deadbeat little Byron. Where's my money, Byron? Byron! <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're live here on the red carpet at the Academy Awards in Los Angeles, and we have next to us Michael Caine, an unbelievable British actor. Michael, thanks for joining us. Oh, you know, really, I'm a great fan of Top Billing, really. It is absolutely one of my favourite shows. Oh, wait, I, I've got to say a it to, to Robert De Niro. Oh, Robert De Niro is here with us. Robert, please, please, can we, can we have a word with you? You guys, you know, I love your show. I love your show, I love what you do. You're amazing. You're really the best. You're number one. From the age of 12, I've been writing music, and ever since I've had the passion for stage, whether it's presenting, performing, of any kind. How you doing, mate? Would you like a cup of tea? I'm sure you're familiar with Queen Elizabeth. Hola, senores and senoritas, once again. <laughs> I've entered so many artistic competitions, and I think I'm very ready to spread my wings and become your next top presenter. Now I want to move on to the cartoon voice. There's more talent after this. You better stay tuned. Oh, there's so much talent. I wish you were just here. <laughs> Why didn't you present? Why didn't you come for audition? I went to Wasala, WW. <laughs> Yay! Coming up, Joburg shows off some world record breaking talent. If you do just one thing this year, bank better in 2018 with Capitech. Welcome back, everybody, to Presenter Search on 3. Joburg, are you ready? Yeah, everybody, this is where it's happening. Joburg is the place to be today, searching for our next SABC3 presenter. Yes, we are. Joburg is ready. Well done, right? The atmosphere is electric as hopefuls wait in line for their chance at stardom. For some, it's the place to show off their party tricks. You really do see a lot of talent here, and I'm not just talking about in front of the camera. People like you, Zama, you have this extra special talent. Tell everyone what record you hold. The most consecutive backhand springs in one hand. I mean, that sounds like you're a superhero, like Spider-Man or something. But you want to be a presenter. What brings you here today? I am here because I'm motivated. Since I have 36 talents, I need to use them all. 36 talents, that's amazing. I'm not going to ask you to go through all of them right now, but what do you think? Apart from 36 talents, the passion that you have is the thing that the judges are going to love about you. The fact that I have a world record and in everything I do, I want to be number one. I mean, I don't have a world record. Does Jeannie have a world record? Does Bonnie have a world record? I don't, yeah, I think you might be right. Hi. How are you, brother? I'm fine, and you? Are you a bit nervous? Yeah, <laughs> I'm not nervous. I'm just loving myself. You're loving yourself. You're loving yourself. Yep. 
I mostly look at myself at the mirror and I miss myself so much. Hey. <laughs> you miss yourself? Yes. Why? Because it's been a long time since I've looked at myself in the mirror. You're an interesting person. You hold the world record for, what is it, backflips? Or Are exactly you in the Guinness Book of Records? Yes. That's amazing. Go for it, go for it. Yo. Oh, is that and what you, it is? So how many did you do for the world record? 34. Cool, so, but you got a link for us, right? <laughs> My name is Abamu Fugeng. I am from Tembisa. At the current moment, I am a world record holder of the most consecutive backhand spring. This proves a point. Whether you have epilepsy or not, but if you have this courage and love in you, nothing will stop you. And now I am going to be this individual that proves to other people that you don't need an excuse to give up in your dreams, but dream even more for you to get wherever you want to get. I Amazing. love that. We really like you. I here. love that. You're I like With that drive, look, <laughs> wow. Uh, well, we kind of figured that. You're just feeling yourself, eh? Too yeah. much. With Old Khaki on site, providing fashion essentials, stylist Tabuji searches the holding room for hopefuls in need of a wardrobe upgrade. I saw Shirley dressed in all black, and I thought to myself, surely you can't be going to a presenter search audition dressed in all black. So I really wanted to give her an updated look. I'm putting Shirley in a textured white old khaki jacket, perfectly on trend, giving us that 1970s retro type feel, and I think she's looking absolutely amazing. I chose Edward because he was dressed in a really bright turtleneck, and he had a hole on it, I mean, really. But I thought that, you know, I can really give him an updated look with the old khaki styling station. I'm putting Edward in a poncho, which is absolutely unconventional for a guy. But this winter, it's all about keeping your looks bold and expressing yourself and really playing with different colors and textures, like your mustard yellows, your greens, your forest colors. And he's definitely going to be more confident because, well, he's looking presenter already now. Hello. Today, we're talking to a young lady all the way from the east of Johannesburg. Well, her looks, though, is very, very quite deceiving, as she looks way younger than her original age. Hello, South Africa. This is your boy, Edward Mapalala. I'm 25 years old of age, all the way from Soweto. So allow me to take you to Soweto, where we will be exploring and experiencing the culture and the art of Soweto in Villagazi Street and the heritage beside it. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one. Courtesy of Mac Cafe, contestants here are treated to an ice cold frappe to cool off before their big moment. This is the Joburg holding room. This is where old Kaki makes over some of our contestants. And Mac Cafe gives us a boost of energy. And you also get to make brand new friends, like my bestie Peña. What's the best thing about being here? I just love the energy, the vibe, the people, and all the nerves are just making it that much more amazing. I mean, nerves. Nerves for everyone! You get nerves! You get nerves! Everybody gets nerves! Hey, brother. How are you? Finding things in yourself. Good. Okay. You okay? Yeah, a bit nervous, but. Mm -hmm. All right. Shake it off. Oh, you'll be fine. <sighs> Go la 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 la. Shake your whole body like this. Shake your whole body. Hey, 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 hey. There you go. Good afternoon, South Africa. My name is Banelim Langini, and a very warm welcome to Afternoon Express right here on SABC3, where the stage is yours. Can I tell you something? I want to shoot the person that said, this is cool to do. Let me show you. Can I, guys? Yeah, please show yeah, us. This I'm is what you're doing. Let me show you. And it's such a bad habit. Yeah. Come here. Thank you. This so is what you're doing. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Da 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 da. It's not nice on camera. This is it's just a bad habit. And don't be so <gasps> scared. Why are you so, so scared? scared? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> <Shame>. <laughs> You're really hard You're on okay. Come with me, like Hapa. So everything's okay. Ah, I was there. Yeah. Well done, man. Don't call me Elsie. I'm not that old. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, what's happening? <laughs> so nice to meet you. Ne? Hello. How are you, darling? I'm good, and you? I'm great, thank you. Jeez, you look very excited to be here. Thank you very much. I'm so, pleased to be here. So you do um, motivational talks, right? Yes, I do that. OK. So I deal with people who are HIV positive, so I'm giving them that next life. Yes, man. Uh -huh. And you want to be the next? <laughs> I'm the next presenter. I don't want to be. Oh, you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> so let's just give this a try. 
Hello, hello, hello. My name is Mpole Duaba. I guess you know that old at play in my melody band in Pretoria S. I'm just so excited to be a South African. For me, waking up to the sunny suburb in South Africa is the most exciting and exquisite feeling that I personally can not afford to miss. Let me just give you the roll down for today. I'm going to have breaking news for you, and I'm going to be or social cohesive in South Africa, Brad. And I'm going to have an interview with the guy who's been making our headlines, newspapers, magazines, and billboards. You know who the guy is? Blay and Haskegalo. The CV that as last but not least, Venet in our kitchen is going to show us how to prepare warm, tasteful recipes that we can try in the privacy of our own home and indulge in. Mzanti, you're watching SABC3. The stage, it's yours. It's our Zeli. You are absolutely <laughs> my favorite. Uh, oh, you know? Oh, wow. It's really you amazing. You actually made our afternoon. Thank you, Rechtas. No, you did. You're so expressive. Where exactly are you from? <laughs> I'm from Mamilati. Oh, Pretoria. Fat and Pretoria ass. King on your uncle Mamilati. Yes, Mamilati. Camera. <laughs> oh, are you still talking on camera? <laughs> but I'm watching you. Oh, you are, you just want to look at the camera. Aye, man. So you're not here for us, man. No, I know you're going to give me that. Yes, yes thing. But yeah. the camera is just gonna prove it for me. Listen. The stamp on it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want to watch you all day. We are in the presence of royalty. Our reigning queen, Miss Africa Vinolia, is here. And you want to be a television presenter, but yeah. as Miss Africa, don't you go out and save the world? How do the two go hand in hand? Well, we do go out and save the world. <laughs> um, look, Miss Africa is about you being a community builder. That's the criteria, definitely, that was uh, looked into when I got the crown. Yeah. However, with television, I'm an actress, I'm a radio presenter, and I'm looking to, obviously, build my brand in this space. Welcome to Top Billing, and congratulations to you for making it to our brand new time slot, which is 6 p.m. every Saturday, right here on SABC3. The stage is yours. I go by the name of Vinolia Mabele, and I'll be your host this evening. Hi, South Africa. My name is Misa Kaiser, reporting live from the red carpet of the Simers. Right here with me, I have AKA. Hello, AKA. Yo, what's, what's up? What's up? What's I'm very well, thanks. And how are you? What's up? I'm good, man. I'm good. Well, you've won Best Hip Hop. How do you feel? Yeah, man. It's so dope, man. You know, I, I don't even know what happened, man. I was out there on the stage, and it's just, you know, it's, it's, I don't even know. I can't even sing, man. But people are like. That's AKA, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so yeah. much for joining us. Peace, Remember, man. don't go anywhere because I've got lots more other artists as as amazing as yourself, Mr. Kieran. Yeah, thanks, man. My name is Nala, and I'm a radio, television broadcaster, and entrepreneur with a mission to change the way we do media in Africa. But there's one hurdle that I need to cross, this presenter search on three. I've been here three times now. Three times the charm, right? Before she became your favorite dinner guest every Saturday at 6 p.m. right here where the stage is yours, Bello was a big dreamer. She spent what felt like a lifetime plotting and planning this moment right here. So we suggest that you get familiar with this face, get familiar with the smile as we take you back to the day that changed my life. From the Je t'aime beaucoup in Paris to the Coca Sea. Hey, I just messed up my link, but we're gonna continue going because we are bringing you to some of the most beautiful places in the world with me, Harmony Ketalondi, right here on SABC3. Hey, guys. That's it. That's hey. Hi. You're definitely a doctor because I can't read your handwriting. <laughs> that that what is, is my your signature name? right there. Uh, Fez Mkize, Fezile. Fezile. Yes, Welcome, Fezile. Sure. Imagine a young boy, he high. Doe-eyed, bushy-tailed, enthralled as he watches one of his favorite TV shows. They take him from the highest scenes to the most breathtaking homes. Cut to a couple of years later, a medical degree, helping a number of people but being helped by so many more. He stands in front of you, 27 years old, ready to join those illustrious ranks. I'm ready to be your next top presenter. Nice. So you're wearing old cock here, see? Actually, these aren't even mine. Um, I came in my scrubs and they had like blood on them, so I had that to... That blood on them? I was at the hospital. I do okay. wash my clothes, just that I was at the hospital. <laughs> from beautiful East London, Eastern Cape, I come from a line of dancers. I'm a professional classical dancer and, of course, aspiring TV presenter. I believe in a positive attitude, living life to the fullest. And as Shakespeare once said, the world is our stage and we're merely the players. Spending most of her time playing in the studio where she hones her craft, Shiara Murphy comes from a long line of world-class dancers. Hi, 
am Shara Murphy. I'm a professional ballerina, dance company owner, and I'm ready to make that leap from stage to screen. From a very young age, I knew I wanted to be a professional ballerina and dancer. It is something that my mom did, my grandmother did, my great-grandmother did, so it definitely is something that runs in our blood. Using her skills and experience to give back, Shiara runs her own company, where she teaches the art of dance to students of all ages. I wanted to start teaching dancing because I wanted to help people to enjoy and love dance just the same way as I do and also to help encourage people of all ages, male and female, to, to dance and express uh, any type of fitness and health and enjoy the love and fun of it. It's very rewarding because you get to give back and help people build their confidence as well. So it's health, fitness, confidence and it's full package actually. Will her experience on stage as a professional dancer give Shiara the confidence to win over the judges and become SABC3's next star? Why I think I should be chosen? Well, confidence is key. Being confident and comfortable in front of the camera, on screen, on stage is crucial. And I think with my dancing background, that of course helps. I also feel it's very important to give back to your audience, whether you're on stage or on screen, and to leave them feeling happier after they've watched you. Why I want to be a TV presenter? I think why not? It's definitely the best job in the world. Coming up, can one accounting student count on her talent to wow the judges? Enjoy a moment in between with McCafe. Joining the first round judges are TV personality Zakia Patel, SABC3 program manager Hamilton Gubo, and presenter search on 3 2015 top billing winner Jade Hoogner. This competition changed my life. It's quite interesting to be on the other side of the table, definitely a relief. Uh, we're looking for somebody who has star quality. It's as simple as that. I am looking for someone dynamic and fun to knock my socks off. For me, the next SABC3 ambassador should have charisma and charm and come and just dazzle and enjoy the stage. The stage is yours. A good day to you and yours at home, and welcome to it. All we can say is hello from the other side. We're scared, we're nervous, we buckled up, and let's just do this. You are watching your most favorite channel, SABC3, and I am your host, Eugenia Trenyana, the only guy who was promoted by public opinions through personal observation. At this stage of the competition, your main conundrum is who are the judges placing their bets on to win? Of course, it's me. Wait for it. Me, in front of you, presenting, keeping it real, chilled vibe. I can be sophisticated, honey, I can be seductive. Or I can be adventurous. But I'm most probably best known for the fact that I'm that crazy white girl that can twerk. Not today. No, do it. No, only if you put me through. <laughs> <laughs> ah, look oh, at wow. That. Go. Strike is your favorite pose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> strike a pose. Oh. Strike, strike a pose. Tell us about the outfit. So this outfit, I just basically put it together so people can go crazy like that. Oh. The happy socks to get you guys happy, of course. And then I'm not wearing pants because I just want it to be different. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, South Africa, welcome. You're watching SABC2, and this is the SABC2 Presenter Search. I'm Goat Sassy, but they can prefer that you call me Marvin. I'm a fashionista. I'm crazy. People say I live in my own world. As you can see, the happy socks, I get everyone happy. Hey, my name is Kulung Mugoni. I'm a encourages <clears throat> and a very ambitious person. I love inspiration, motivation, and encouragement. I am... I don't give up, I, I don't settle for anything less. I love inspiration, encouragement, and motivation. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is Petronella Masani, AKA Ralph Diamond. Guys, as you can see today, I just want to top things with you there or to entertain you just a little bit. So please, please guys, don't go anywhere. Just stay tuned with us here on SABC3. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. How are you guys? Good. Good. You're you looking fabulous. I look incredible, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> Tell us a bit about yourself. I am my mother's son, but I am my father's favorite daughter. Wow. Hmm. What Got does me that intrigued. mean? So basically, I cross-dress. 
Confident in her identity, Vitz accounting student Amohelang Kekana is ready to swap her textbooks for a life in front of the camera. My identity is anything but conventional. I was born male, but I identify as female. I make different cool. For me, what it means to make different cool is that you express yourself unapologetically in whatever space you may be, irrespective of what people say. Hello, hello, I am Amokalan Kekan. I'm a third year accounting science student at WITS. Every once in a while, the stress level does get to me and I need to detox by meeting with my friends for a couple of drinks. But for that, I need to dress up. With a sense of style to match her bubbly personality, Amohelang is a fashion fanatic who consults designers like Kelezo Moraba. Fashion for me is everything. It says a lot about you. How you look when you walk into a room already conveys a certain message. So for me, I want to get the right message across. Hence, I need to pick the right dress, the right shoes, the right makeup look to make sure that I get the right message across. Reactions to my dress sense at the university is very, very positive. My friends always know that I'm going to show up in a show stop. I'm going to, you know, show everyone flames and slay, slay, slay. As a child, Amohelang experienced discrimination, but she's always had a close group of friends by her side. My friends offer me a lot of support. There are those people that when everything goes wrong, I can just call and they will drop everything and show up and show off. Having Amohelang as a friend has been amazing. It's the best thing ever. Uh, we met in primary school, so we basically grew up together. She's always the life of the party. Yeah, an entertainer all around. I definitely consider Amohelang a role model. She's a hard worker, always has been. She's always the one pushing us. And yeah, she's very inspiring, a very hard worker. I live fearlessly by simply showing up to every moment like I'm meant to be there. You show up and you show up. Simple as that. I want to be a television presenter because my friends always tell me, I'm like, you are so entertaining. What are you doing in academics? So I was like, you know what, maybe there is something here. So this is why I want to be a television presenter. Hello, hi, I am Amokhelang Kekana. I'm a fresh, fresh and exciting bubble of energy. I'm electric, captivating and can take over a new room. My friends describe me as being loud and out of control, although I can be serious when the occasion calls for it. I simply describe myself as a dreamer from SA that wants to become a global phenomenon. This is my time. Sit back, relax and get ready to be blown away. <laughs> You're yeah. so confident and comfortable yeah. in your skin. Thank it's you so much. See. Thank you so much. Ke motswana, ke ngwanyana, ke your girl B. Bona re tlo go tla tla molla. Tonight we've got a live exclusive. Don't you dig oh anyway because I'm bringing you the best. Yes, ah, you can. I know who you yeah. are. <laughs> yeah. And, and but there's two bubble. though. There's two there's like this was Bonang before top billing. And it's um, Bonang live. And then there's live Bonang there. top billing. Nestled in the heart of northern Johannesburg, young girls like us enjoy some champagne, darling. Join us as we chat to my favorite, Khart Yuan Kutsia, about this gorgeous gown that I've donned for you this evening. Good night and God bless. Please, Whoa. can you just say Khart Yuan Kutsia one more time? And then I can do one more time. Just... Khart Yuan Kutsia. <laughs> <laughs> I had to come and sidle up next to you because I know you've done this before. Oh, yes. All right, boys and girls, this is Presenter Search on 3. I'm Ayanda Marcus saying it right now, though. Let's go for a commercial break. See you after this. I hadn't even told you what to do yet. Oh. But you did it. You did it. And you did it so good. Sorry. We'll see you after this break. Let's walk over here. Next, after living on the streets, one hopeful searches for a home on TV. Bank better to live better with Capitec. Three, two, two one, one, action. Cool. Hello, I am Ndandose Musibi and I am 25 years old. I believe in magic. Well, I believe I am magic. I believe my wit, dazzle and charm will surely add that something extra special to your viewing. Good evening and welcome to yet another exceptional night. Of course, it's top billing. Who said class, good looks, and good moves cannot cradle together in harmony? Tonight, you and I have the VVIP access to the luxurious Madida house. Hello, everyone. This is Tumelo Babedi, presenting to you live from top billing, uh, from top billing uh, studios. Don't worry about the 
the new pretty face. Jonathan today is not feeling well. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan today is not feeling well, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover for him. But remember to keep our social trending and making sure that we communicate on all the social media platforms. I am Jody Dealing with the fabulous Bonnie over here and vivacious Jenny. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you all again tomorrow. But everyone, they say, fat guy, they can't dance, but I'm a dancer today because I'm a dancer of Pansula dance. Everyone knows me because I'm a dancer like this, do you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes! Yes! Wow, thank you so much for the energy. You you made our day now. Hi, Barbara and Ausbroken. My name is Togo Zilemore, all the way from Northwest. I'm here for SABC to represent Hasechin. Togo, welcome. The stage is yours. Hi, I'm Togo Moro, all the way from Northwest. I'm vibrant. I'm ladies, ladies, ladies. Well, we thought maybe just was a planned like, thing to yeah. work. Just wow us, you know. So don't worry for no. now. Thank you so much. Just no go there. Yeah. So you guys are twins? Yes. Okay. okay. So it's only fit that you share this moment together. <laughs> Hi, vibrant and us working. My name is Togo Zilamore. I'm 26 years old, all the way from Northwest. I'm here for SABC to represent her, searching. Togo, the stage is yours. Hi, I'm Togo Moro, all the way from Northwest. What makes me unique is that I'm versatile. I'm identical to you. I like to maneuver to new opportunities that, has, that are ahead of me, living an empowering and impactful life. Zile, the stage is yours. Thank you. What makes me unique is that I'm not afraid to take new adventure, and I'm inspired by people who are very influential and impactful, which results to me to live a very purposeful life. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you guys you. really do finish each other's sentences. <laughs> <laughs> I must tell you, we've met some incredible people in the Johannesburg audition queues. Some of our hopefuls have had to overcome unbelievable challenges to get to where they are in life. And what makes them really stand out is that they've been able to use all of their skills to really give back to their communities. Unselfish, it's beautiful. Hilman Matea's life turned around when he was given a helping hand. And now he's giving back to a community he was once part of. Living on the streets was very tough. Basically, I lived under a bridge. So the problem with being on the streets is that every single day you have to wake up and go and hustle. There are no shelters because when you have a shelter, you have to pay 10 rand. At times you don't have that 10 rand or 12 rand. You become despondent. You have a low self-esteem. You don't think anyone cares about you. But somebody came and gave me a helping hand. There was a time I was also in the streets, guys, and I got help. Some woman came out and she helped me, put me together. I'm the person that I am today because of Auntie Tracy and I thank her. Auntie Tracy's first time when she spoke to me, I said, Auntie Tracy, I have nothing. And that lady said to me, Khilman, you have you, my man. And I can promise you, no one and no one can change your situation besides you. That woman gave me money every single day. I don't know how much she gave me. Took me to consulting agents, showed me how CVs are done, helped me to be employable. After that, I promise you, my confidence, my self-esteem started coming slowly and slowly and slowly to becoming the person that I am. And from that day onward, I've spent my time going out and making a difference in other people's lives. So now we are here in Bramfontein, where a group of youngsters are actually making a difference in people's lives by feeding homeless people in the streets of Johannesburg. Feed a homeless homie does this on a month to month basis. Hey, feed a homeless homie! Feed a homeless! Feed a homeless! Feed a homeless homie! Feed a homeless homie! Feed a homeless homie! The passion to help those in need fuels Hillman's work at the NGO Feed a Homeless Homie. He's offering the hope and support that got him back on his feet. The core thing at Feed a Homeless Homie is that we feed homeless people. So when we are going out to organizations and bringing them to Feed a Homeless Homie, we're bringing CEOs to Feed a Homeless Homie, we're bringing motivational speakers to Feed a Homeless Homie. We're not saying that they're gonna get jobs, but we're saying that in liaising with these people, you have an opportunity to get guidance as to where to go from here onwards. Okay, the message I have for people who want to make a difference like me is that you do not have to start big. You have to start small with the resources that are available to you. When we started Feed a Homeless Homie, we were going door to door asking for donations. And now we have big organizations basically coming to us and giving us money so that we can make a massive difference in the community. Having inspired the people in his own community, Hilman hopes that becoming SABC3's next TV star would give him the platform to reach a bigger audience. 
I want to be a TV presenter because I work in the motivational space and I make a difference in people's lives. TV presenting gives you that platform yeah. to take that on a global stage. South Africa, my name is Gilman Mateo, known to my friends and homies living on the streets as Uma Capecino. Now, from a guy who lived on the streets and battled briefly with drugs and alcohol, it is an absolute honor to be presenting myself to the judges, not forgetting the production crew at large. Although I must concur, I am rather nervous. Now, it seems like everybody in this room is having tons of fun. However, we still need to pay the bills. Remember, though, the stage is always yours. Good evening, the ladies and the gentlemen. My name is Maralise van Ekek, and I'm on the top billing today to audition for Presenter Search on 3. So why did I leave my job to come <laughs> and actually audition? It's because I want to actually be on the TV. So if you like my popoiki, please vote. And I'm from Boxburg. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Charlie. Thank you so much, Maroli. It's fabulous to meet Marley, you. Please, great to the panel. Thank you, Maroli. Gay Nam Sanji, gay Uzo Sniggers, gay one of the songs, they ain't Chayaka and Nam Sanji, says Okali Ishonga. After the show, gay Sizoya Sio Tengisa, then after Emma Pengel, Sizoboya says Kaya more of the best, Yagama Maskovella, Nai Sonyak M9, DJ Eti Nkolon Kolua. Yeah, yeah. If we put a beat to yeah. that, it could be a hit. Boom, boom, boom. It's like a yeah. it's like you're rolling. Damn, 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 Well done. Thank you so much. Ba, oh. yeah. Coming up, auditions heat up as Joburg brings out the big guns. Enjoy a moment in between with McCafe. Auditions continue with a third first round judging panel. Leanne Williams from The Expresso Morning Show. Top Billings Lorna Maseko, who was once a presenter search hopeful herself. And 5FM DJ Nick Hammond. Today I'm going to be looking for originality. We've got Leanne's, we've got Lorna's, we've got Nick's. I want to find out what makes you different. It's important to come into an audition room and be yourself. Don't try to be Jeannie, don't try to be Jonathan Boyton Lee. They're already taken. But we want to see originality, nerve, charisma, and talent. Just be yourself, lots of character, and just have fun. I'm looking for someone who fills up the room with their personality the minute they walk into it. I'm looking for someone who believes in themselves and who wants to own their own space, and most importantly, somebody who is versatile. Hello. Hello. Hi. Gorgeous Hi. smile. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, South Africa. Ikamalam, Michalim Ushul, and Indinizisele Entertainment. As I said, in a rich factor, you're tuned on to ACBC3. So I suggest you stay tuned because Sazoba Mlandi, guys. I mean, Sazoba Liti, Sazoba Fani. Hey, wow. This very bubbly personality comes prepared. And trust me, it's well put together. I'm fun, outgoing, I love the adventure, but most importantly, I love to learn and challenge myself. Basically, to put the bow on the golden ribbon of all things that are fabulous. With the mission to entertain, inspire, and encourage, my name is Anessa Malisa, but I also go by the name The Black Sparrow. And yes, the birds are singing, and this is espresso. And right now, what we're about to do, we're about to cook with the splendazing Zola. And I hope you guys are ready for her famous spaghetti bolognese. I'm ready. I was never even ready. But hey, let's party karate, and let's get cooking with Zola. Let's party karate. <laughs> now, like, I know, you know me, like, I know you. You can't keep nothing good to yourself. So I'm going to let you go and tell everybody and their mom while we go and check out our fantastic lineup, SABC3. The stage is yours. Before the next audition, I thought I should pop in and see our judges and also perk them up. I've got a little surprise for you. But first, I want to know, Nick, how's it going so far? Well, Pubby, I'm hoping to find the next me. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Perfectly honest. And you're fabulous. So it, it yes. makes a lot of sense. Leanne, uh, how has the talent been for you? You know what? I was pleasantly surprised uh, to see people walk in here so confident um, with everything that they're saying and everything that they're doing. They really are good. So I believe there's a little bit of battle going on here. Right? So people are coming in either wanting to be a part of top billing or a part of Expresso, which show is, um, you know, edging in front. 
I didn't realize that there were so many people that like waking up in the morning. So people love espresso, but it's also great to see people that know exactly what they want to be on, whether it was tubbling or espresso or mm. afternoon espresso. That's fantastic. Yeah, but in truth, espresso is winning so yeah. far. Get that in there. I just knew. I'm sorry. They are. Listen, I've got something to put some pep in your step, all right, judges? Oh. I've got a surprise for you, courtesy of Mac Cafe. Phone, please. Thank you, thank you very much. Let me just get my app up and running. And it's ordered. It's on its way. Nice. Awesome. Thank, thank you, you. Pabby. I could get used to this. I have a lot of doppelgangers in this world, but when it comes to me, I live life large and I love to laugh. And I'm always about a good accent. I can like totally do an American accent if you want, or I could like be Adele, you know, cause I saw her in London. She's such a great singer. My favorite really is a lot more Russian. Mm. That is really where I'm in the most comfortable. But like, if you want to do a Barbie or something with your Australian friends, I can totally. I totally love it. That's great. <laughs> right. That's great. I love it. Good. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jack Sparrow. I'm a pirate, a privateer, an entrepreneur, but most importantly, I'm a captain. Nobody move. I forgot my link. <laughs> Bobby never forgets to keep a promise. And with speedy service from Mac Cafe's Red Delivery Scooter, the judging panel receives their delicious treats oh, in that. no time. Hello. Hi. My name is Timber from My name Timber. is Nick from Headcom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lorna from Top Billing. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, dude, thank you so much. Oh, oh, chocolate. Oh, yours is the While the judges enjoy a well-earned break with their sweet delights, Pavi hits the stands to look for standout talent. And it seems she may have found her match. Excuse me, hi. Hi. I recognize you from somewhere. Ten magazine covers. Lee, what are you doing here? Being behind the camera as a model just uh, has prepared me for this day to be a presenter. And I feel like it's a new challenge and this is my future, I think. Lee, what do you think sets you apart? I think my humility, and you won't find someone harder working than I am. I'm melting, I'm melting, I've got to go. Good luck, good luck for your audition, bye. He's a former professional rugby player, turned international model and entrepreneur. The modern day jock, if you like, but can this modern day jock become the apple of your eye? Shoot! Sure. <laughs> wow! I felt like, okay. Do not go anywhere. We have something super exciting coming up. We have an ambassador of the Wings for Life run coming. His name is Nick Hammond. You know him from 947. Such a great guy. And he's going to tell you why exactly you're going to be at the race. I'll see you guys in a second. Don't go anywhere. All right, guys, so we're here backstage. We're at the Calvin Klein's new denim launch. It's going to be an incredible experience. Uh, I'm going to be taking you guys backstage. So before we commence with that, uh, Looks like it's just denim tonight, so I'll catch you guys after the break. <laughs> oh, yes! And the viewership just went up. And, and people started buying jeans. <gasps> Bring me a star. Hi, my name is Ndaba Zomashele. I'm a PR student, and I would like to be the next presenter. OK. Sure, that was so short. I wanted to see more. Okay, so maybe you must interview me. <coughs> so, yes. Right. Oh, I like that. <laughs> so, Brenda Dogozo, yes. you're interviewing me. Hi, how are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm fantastic. Actually, I'm Phantom at How are you doing? I'm great. I mean, I'm so excited to be wow. interviewed by you. Thank you. I heard about your new album. Tell me more about the album. The <laughs> album is just about me expressing myself as an artist and just, um, you know, making sure my fans are happy and getting everything they want. What, had, what inspired you to do this album? You know, the fans wanted it, so I gave it to them, you know, give a feeling. Oh, but feeling on a fail. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Do you like Lona's music? No, I'm actually into gospel. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm actually into gospel. I'm a church girl. I'm, I'm a church girl. Oh, I'm yeah. listening to your music, eh? Okay, yeah. thank yeah. you. Right. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you. Cheers. Okay. Thanks, Brenda. Bye. Bye. Bye.
After their success as 2017 Winner Home Design Winners, Brad Muttet and Abia Superstar Mashase hope to take their on-screen careers to the next level. Shut the front door. Brad and Abia are here. Oh my gosh, uh, hello, babe. you look so great. No, babe, we had to bring some razzle and dazzle. And when you get into that audition room, how's the razzle going to work without the dazzle? Because you have to go in on your own, Brad. Pabby, I think I need to borrow your eyelashes because I'm going to have to flutter them at the judges. Okay, so you guys have been busy busy decorating and making all sorts of things look beautiful but it's not about beauty alone when you're a presenter so sure. what's gonna come out of here a lot of yada 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 yeah and then we hope the judges love the yada <laughs> what the fridge what, what the fridge <laughs> i love you guys hey. Hello. yes <laughs> oh, whoa. Yes. When they said if you want to make a presence, yes. make sure you come Hi, looking ready. like that. Is it? <laughs> Guys, you remember him yeah. from you... Winner Home? Yeah, so I'm trying to win another competition. Why why presenting now? Well, with Winner Home, I mean, we were followed around by cameras, and I think we kind of enjoyed being followed around, and it's instead of taking a selfie, you had a whole crew to actually put you on. Right, okay. so the bug has bitten. The <laughs> bug has bitten, and I'm ready to bite back. <laughs> I love okay, it. Okay, well, let's see you bite. Shut the front door, lock the doors, and tell them to all go home, because you found your next presenter. My name is Abia Mathlasi. You can call me Abia Superstar. I'm ready to razzle, dazzle, and put some shine up in that stage. Yes, mm, okay. you were just like, looking at your camera though. I was looking at you guys. Looking at us. The audience is like, mm, he's not, you don't care about us. Yeah. But you know what, Abia, I'm so used to seeing you as part of a duo. Absolutely. Like you were on Winner Home, and I think I would love to see that again. Yeah. The two of you back together. Oh, in the Dazzle's right in the back. Is the Dazzle in the, the back? The Dazzle's in the back. I'm yeah. <laughs> He's next in line. <laughs> we, we fell in love with the two of you on screen together, so do you think you could give us something? Shut the front door. Give me that key. Mm. And uh, you have looking at your new presenters. I'm a Brad, and I'm a be a superstar. We bring the razzle, the dazzle, and everything in between. Mm. Are you ready? Are you going to swing your hair? I can swing it back and forth. Side to side, just and not on my side. Oh, what the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so Michael, I've got a little bit of a challenge for you. I want to see how strong you are since you are in fitness, but mm. I'm going to make it a little harder. I want you to pick me up while doing your link. Do you think you can do it? Well, we have to see and try it, won't we? No pressure. <laughs> A presenter needs to be versatile, <laughs> y'all. Okay, All right. All right. In three, three two, two, one. one. Action. Right. Hi, I'm Michael Dunstan, a small town boy with traditional values. Being a hopeless romantic, whoopsie, I nearly dropped oh it. Being a hopeless romantic, I moved up to Johannesburg for love, which unfortunately was short lived. Hopefully, not much longer. Anyway. <laughs> So, ever since then, I've seized every opportunity that I, you know, I could grab that crossed my path, such as this one now. Oh, Let me just... <laughs> there we go. Mm. Yeah. So, hopefully, this will make my mark. That being said, I'm Michael Dunstan. This is Top Billing. And thank you for having me. Woo! That was amazing! I feel like I need to give you a hug. Well done. You guys, he worked so hard. Standing in the queue seven hours, right, I wanted to get the swish swish dance done right. Yeah, yeah. So, it's that. Oh. And that. Now, you, it looks easy. It's not. And as you try and go faster, now I couldn't do this before <laughs> yesterday. So I'm thankful to Presenter Search for allowing me to at least do a swish swish dance. So <laughs> thank you. Fantastic. I that wish I could amazing. give you more. I'll plie and all that but stuff. I think you but, can. Do the club ah. one. Do the club one. Do it. All right, cool. Five, can you give me a beat. Can I come over? Six, seven, right. eight. Shoes are That I don't know is what's committed. You got burnt. Your your <laughs> pants tore. I like these pants. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, 
that's good. That's all we have. I don't know anything else. There is too much TV talent in Johannesburg to cram into just one episode. So you'll have to join us again next week to see more weird, wacky and wonderful Johannesburg auditions, as well as find out who will make it in front of the main panel of judges in the callbacks. Until then, good night. Define your style on Presenter Search on 3 and stand a chance to win 2,000 Rand in fashion staples from Old Khaki. Visit the Presenter Search Facebook page or find us on Twitter at BeFoundOn3 and tell us which Old Khaki Winter Essential is your favorite and why. Be confident, unrestricted and cool and the stage could be yours. Next week, we're back in Johannesburg for part two of the auditions. DJ Fresh selects his favorites in the Mac Fast Track competition, where six lucky hopefuls skip the queue and receive a VIP audition experience. And it's time for callbacks. Who will impress the main judges and make it through to the workshop round? Catch all the action with Presenter Search on 3, proudly brought to you by Capitec and Mac Cafe. <laughs> Enjoy a moment in between with McCafe. Uh, never feel good production.